my, to my daughter and son-in-law. As you both walked down the aisle today, I shed a tear. You're no more my baby girl, you're now a woman. I know I'm not losing a daughter, I know I'm gaining a son. I'm so happy for you both, as your lives as husband and wife have begun. Congratulations to you both. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all having a wonderful day at this beautiful venue. I firstly want to say all the bridesmaids have scrubbed up very well, and we, and we have tried our best to do the same. For the people that don't know me, I'm Jordan, Ash's younger brother. We first met 27 years ago. It was the 29th of January 1992, one of the greatest days in Ash's life. The day I was born. I don't remember much about that day. I was going through a lot at the time. But me and Ash had an instant connection. We both immediately disliked each other. For those of you that don't know me, I'm sure you all do. I'm Becca, best better sister. I started... <laughs> I started thinking about this speech and got so nervous I thought about telling Beth I didn't want to do it. But I quickly scrapped that idea because anyone that knows our Beth knows she does not take no for an answer. <laughs> Especially on the run up to her wedding day. Uh, honestly, I was true shocked when Ash asked me to be one of his best men. So it's now my job to tell you a bit more about Ash. <laughs> A, fit, a fitness fanatic. <laughs> a drink. A genius and a hard worker. Unfortunately, he's none of those. <laughs> However, he does have a few qualities that brought us all here today to, to celebrate his marriage to Beth. So where do I start? There is no better bond that us three sisters have. Me, you and Rachel. We are a team and always sit together and do everything together. I don't think there's a day we ever see each other apart. We're always there. You are my best friend. I'm going to move on and talk a little bit how Ash and Beth met. Ash and Beth first saw each other at a pub called Jam Factory. <laughs> Ash was with his friends, believe it or not, he does have some. <laughs> and, Beth, and Beth was with hers. Ash must have thought it was fate for a woman to look at him. But little did he know, Beth was actually there to meet someone else. <laughs> Fortunately, Beth did get stood up, which allowed... <laughs> which allowed Ash to get to know Beth more, which made them get into a proper relationship after some time. As children, it's fair to say we didn't always get on. Bickering and fighting over babies, prams and bikes. But I do remember how much we loved having the cutest little sister ever. Even though you were so annoying. <laughs> you have grown up into the beautiful, kind woman and we are so proud of everything you have achieved. You, your home, your beautiful daughter, your nursing career and I suppose your husband isn't too bad either. <laughs> I read somewhere that the perfect best man speech should last as long as it takes for the groom to make love. So ladies and gentlemen, please really raise a glass to the newlyweds. When I was writing this speech, I told myself I had three responsibilities. Make sure Ash arrives on time, make sure he's sober enough, and make sure he's looking good. So two out of the three is not bad. After all, I am just a best man and not a plastic surgeon. Ash, welcome to the family. No going back now. <laughs> you are the funniest and kindest person I know, and our children adore you. 
Not only do our children adore you, as in my children, but Beth's children, Danielle's children, you are the limelight of every party. Ash, who knew that from the day I s <laughs> that from the day I saw you almost eight years ago in the pub that we would be here now reading this letter on our wedding day. We have gone through so much over the past seven years. Our amazing, amazing journey started over seven years ago. Not many relationships had to start we had. A few months after being together, we lost the two people we looked up to growing up and we daily miss them every single day of our lives. We stuck together and you was my rock all the way through my dad's death. I didn't get to meet your nan as much as I would have wanted, but she looks down on you every single day with a great big smile and so proud of you. After only being together five months, our lives changed when we lost your dad. I will never forget him and I promise I will always talk about him with Ella. <laughs> then, four months after, we lost my nan, my rock and my best friend. Thank you for being there for me throughout. I'm glad my nan got to meet you and give me her, your, her approval. We were strong for each other all the way through it and started to plan our lives together after months and years of saving in January 2015. We got accepted for our very first job and was one step of our lives completed. And on January the 3rd 2017, our lives changed forever. A little girl arrived, two days of solid labour and you were the bravest and strongest person throughout. This was the start of our very own little family and I could not ask for a better mum for my daughter. She looks up to you every single day and you make us both very proud. It seems like two minutes ago since you came home from work and I was sat on the bed upstairs with the pregnancy test in my hand saying I think I'm pregnant. Your reaction melted my heart. And seeing you now with our gorgeous little girl Ella and how much of a brilliant dad you are. Even though she has, has you wrapped around her finger. Thank you for being there throughout all the times I've been poorly, probably more than the times I've been well and especially after having Ella. I'm so sorry for scaring you. <laughs> On June 30, 2017, I finally asked you to marry me. After many family meals and your sister's telling me to hurry up and go get a rig, our little girl played her own little part in it. And so I stand here reading this today for a few hours until you become my wife. I can honestly say, not wait for the next chapter in our lives. I knew one day I would marry you. I love everything about you, and even even when you annoy me. You are the one that makes me feel happy and complete. You and Ella are the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I can't imagine life without you. Thank you for being you and loving me. I'll see you at the wedding. Don't be late. You'll make me and all of your family so proud. We have got an exciting future in front of us. You becoming a nurse and many more happy memories to create. You will be reading this today with a less than an hour to go until you become Miss Norvin. Ella can finally call you an awning. I am looking forward to seeing you and what the future brings and will be so proud to call you Moo, my wife. I love you to the moon and back. Ash. Here's to right now, you're surrounded by your loved ones and we are all wishing you well as you create a brand new chapter in the story that yours, that's yours to tell. We talk about the memories you have yet to make together and the moments you've already shared to be carried with you forever. But take the time to live today as your marriage begins, look around and soak it up the moment that we are in. For this is where the magic starts, when you both say your vows, you pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. So yes, here's to a future that is bright and warm and clear, but more than that, here's to right now and what it means for us all to be here.
I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Bethany Joanne Louise Riley, may not be joined in matrimony to matrimony to Ashley Craig Northern. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise I will share with you. I promise that I will share with you. All that I possess. All that I possess. And all that I am. And all that I am. I will be honest with you. I will be honest with you. And stand by you. And stand by you. Through whatever may come. Through whatever may come. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To support you. To support you. And to respect you. And to respect you. You have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of, your, of the witnesses here assembled. It now gives me great pleasure to declare that you are married and you may seal your marriage with a kiss. First of all, I would like to thank you all for coming today. It's been a long time coming, it's there, but we are finally here and finally can call Beth my wife. <laughs> she makes me so proud every day and cannot wait to see what our future brings. I think we owe a few thank yous to certain people here today. Let's start with a bridesmaid. You all look beautiful today and don't think Beth could ask for better people to be at her side on her wedding day. Dan, my sister, from day one, you and Beth have got on like an house on fire. As your little brother, I look up to you and your family every day. <laughs> Becky first came into our lives with her name Sandwich Shop Girl. <laughs> yep, Sandwich Shop Lad. Yeah. <laughs> she kept this name for months, but she grown into our family and helped me, Beth and Ella, and a lot and become a very close friend to Beth and a brilliant auntie to our little girl, Ella. And now to Beth's sisters. Becca and Rachel, you're there for us, even when we don't want you to be. <laughs> you were there through the birth of our little girl, best illnesses, you've been our rock from day one. I do not think I will ever meet two more hard-working, family-oriented people. You three sisters have a special bond and literally mean the world to Beth. So from your new brother-in-law, thank you for everything you do for us. It is really appreciated. Thank you to my mum. You helped towards our wedding, accepted Beth from day one, dragged her around hundreds of pound shops, <laughs> and always helped me. I wouldn't be the person I am if it wasn't because of you. <laughs> Beth's mum, Joanna and Mick, you accepted me from day one, took me in. I might have not spoke for months. I bet sometimes you wish I went back to that. <laughs> you helped us buy our first house, our engagement party, and the birth of Ella. You stood by us and helped us and keep helping us. We really appreciate it. And now to another special man in here, Dazzler. <laughs> From day one, you took me in. You do more than help us through me working or Beth working. You help us out with everything in life and from the bottom of my heart, we really appreciate everything you do for us. You put a lot of money towards this wedding and without you, this day isn't possible. But where you are with your grandkids and your kids, if I turn out half a dad you are, I will be very, very proud.
you have put away a year of my bad cooking and rubbish jokes. <laughs> we spent some special time together, even when I walked in your naked in the shower. <laughs> Thank you for everything you have done for us, and please share that back. <laughs> now to my best men. We have grown up together through all the fights and arguments. We have had who's better over FIFA or eating the last chocolate bar. We have always been close, and not just brothers. We also have a bond, which is special to me. As your big brother, I really are thankful for everything you have done for me and my family. From both of you planning a brilliant stag do, I could not ask for two better men stood by my side on my biggest day. None of us would be here right now if Beth didn't give Ash a chance at night in Jam Factory seven years ago. I can, can honestly, say, honestly say that Beth is one of the strongest women I have ever met. Always caring for others first before herself. Since coming into Ash's life, she has changed his life for the better and provi provided him with the greatest gift possible, our beautiful little Ella. You have a wonderful family. I can't... <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better extended family. Jordan, Becky, Danielle, Ryan and Brad. The laughs and memories we have had will last a lifetime. Now Beth, we can all agree today how oh, amazing you look. <laughs> we love you so much and that is not only from me, but from all your bridesmaids. And now to the part that I found difficult to write. Plenty of tears whilst doing this, but it's the two people who are not here with us today. Who have seen me and Beth grow up, and we'll be looking down on you, so, so proud of everything we have done. They've been a massive part in our life, and a daily missed every single day. First of all, my dad, he didn't get a lot of time spent with Beth. Before he was taken, but I knew we'd accepted her from day one. He told me when he first met her what a lovely, kind girl she is. And I know he will be looking down and definitely approve of Beth. <laughs> and now to Beth's nan calf. I didn't get much time with this woman before again she was taken too early. All the stories I hear about her and the way she's talked about the family, I knew she was such a caring woman who wanted the best for her family. I know of her love who was shared for her and how much she's missed. I promise you I will look after your granddaughter and treat her the best I can. Beth misses you every single day and I know you'll be looking down on this day with a great big smile and so proud of how far your family has come. So if my second toast can be to the ones who are daily missed. We all know today is a day of celebration of the love shared between Ash and Beth. As with all celebrations, it can also be difficult. There are people who would have loved to be here today, but even though they can't be here in person, we know they are looking down with a smile. First of all, I would like everyone to raise a glass for Beth Nan Calf, <coughs> who I know is, is missed daily by her family. From the stories I've been told, she was an amazing woman and her legacy lives on through her beautiful, caring family. She will be proud of the women and mothers you have all become. Please raise a glass to Kath. I would also like to raise a glass to our dad. who was a kind, loving father and husband who would, always, who would have loved to be here to see, to see his eldest son marry the woman of his dreams, who was a rock for not only Ash, but for all of us through the hardest time of our lives when we lost our dad. You will never know how much your support helped us through and I want you to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ash, I know that dad is up there somewhere, beaming with pride at the man you have become and the amazing dad you are to Ella. So please raise a glass to our dad, Sean. Ash and Beth, I think I speak for everyone here today when I say I wish you both a lifetime of happiness together and we are excited to see what the future holds for you. 
maybe even a little brother or sister for Ella. <laughs> Everyone, join me and raise a final toast to the beautiful bride and not so bad groom to Bethanas. To Bethanas. On a final note, I was so privileged that you and Ash asked me to be your birthing partner and it's fair to, you, to say you had one hell of a time that day and I thought I was going to lose my baby sister for good but you kicked ass and continue to kick ass every time you're poorly. You get up and go to work and take care of everyone else. You are the strongest person I know and I want to thank you for that. Thank you for always being there for me, the black sheep of the family, <laughs> when I need you the most, even when you feel so poorly yourself. So let's raise a glass to the beautiful bride and groom, and Ella of course. To Ash, Beth and Ella. <laughs> and Ash, don't forget, a happy wife means a happy life, and Beth, don't forget, let him play football, for God's sake. And finally, I'd like to thank my new wife. As our, fa our future begins, I'm very excited. I have finally married my best friend, and I will carry on loving you and always do the best for our family. On the 3rd of January, you were amazing. You brought our little girl into the world. And for the tiny little scare you give us, I knew you'd be come out stronger and keep getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> Final toss to the future and my new wife. I see you in the in crowd. I still see you all alone though. I know that it's a big town. But we could get away when I hit your phone. What you mean you're busy? I know we got something going on. I just wanna show you, I just wanna know you. I can't wait much longer for you. Won't you take my hand?